Number 19. A total of $3,000 is invested, part at 2% simple interest and part at 4%. If the total interest from the two investments is $100, how much is invested at each rate? Okay, so we can use the systems of equation to solve this particular uh, word problem. The first thing we need to do is assign variables. So since we have two different uh, investments, one at 2% and one at 4%, uh, we need two different variables. So let's let X be um, the investment into the 2% account and let's let Y be uh, the investment uh, in the four, at 4%. Now, the next thing we want to do is set up our uh, equations. The first equation, remember, uh, should involve um, what was invested, the total amount that was invested. Uh, your next equation, your second equation should deal with uh, the interest that were that was involved in these accounts. Uh, so let's start with the first equation. Uh, we don't know what was invested into uh, the 2%. We don't know the amount also that was invested at 4%. So uh, that's why we're using the variables. Uh, but we do know that there was a total of $3,000 uh, that was invested. In fact, that's the very first part of the sentence. So there's our first equation um, is the amount of dollars invested. So what we have is X plus Y equals 3,000. Again, we don't know what was invested into the 2%. We don't know what was invested at 4%, but we do know there was a total of 3,000 invested. Our second account uh, uh, equation rather uh, deals with uh, the interest so um, we know that the, with the first account, uh, it was invested at a 2% interest. Uh, the second account was invested at 4% interest. And we know that between the two of them, uh, it yielded $100. So um, that's our second equation. So we're going to go ahead, instead of writing it as a percent, we're going to write it as a decimal. So there's our second equation. All right, and if you're wondering how we turn these uh, percents into a decimal, remember you just simply move the decimal places two places to the left and insert the decimal symbol. Um, however, we do still have our equation in two different units here. We have whole numbers and then we have decimals. Um, it would be easiest to solve this equation if they both were whole numbers. So what we can do with equation number uh, two is we can simply multiply all the three these three terms. We can multiply them by 100 to clear um, these decimals. Uh, one other way is to simply just uh, do it manually and and move all three uh, numbers two places to the right, uh, and then we can get rid of the decimals. So once we clear the decimals, this is the equation we're left with, 2x plus 4y uh, equals 10,000. So now we have our two equations, and we can proceed with using either the substitution method or the elimination method. All right. So now that we have... Um, our equations, we can eliminate one of the variables. So let's eliminate x. And to lim eliminate x, all we need to do is just simply multiply the top equation by negative 2. So when we do that, uh, the first equation uh, will change. We did not do anything to our second equation. We leave that alone. So now I can go ahead and proceed with draw the line and do my addition. So what I'm left with is 2y equals 4,000. Last step to solving this is to divide by 2 and y equals 2,000. So remember the y value relates to the 4% account. So that means that 2,000 was invested into the 4% account. Now in terms of wondering how do I find what was invested into the 2% account? Well, you can use mental math to do that because if there was a total of $3,000 invested in all and you, you invested 2,000 of that into the 4% account, that means the remaining 1,000 was invested into the 2% account. 
But if you're not able to readily uh, figure that out, remember you all you have to do is take this y value and plug it into either equation and then you'll be able to find your x value. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so it looks like uh, our value of y would be easiest to plug into equation number one. So let's plug it into equation number one so we can find out what x is. When we do that, it looks like this. Last step to solving for x is to subtract 2,000 from each side and x equals 1,000. So as you can see, uh, 1,000 was invested at the 2% interest and 2,000 was invested at 4%. We can check our solution by simply plugging those values back into the original equation and you can see that it does check out uh, that this is indeed our solution to uh, this problem. Okay, that's it for this lesson. Thank you for watching Math on PowerPoint Tutorials. If you like this video and found it to be helpful in any way, please like it and subscribe to my channel.